Today we're building an automated feeder system for our livestock guardian dog, and it's also gonna include a jump gate, which will let the dog go in, but keep these guys out. Our normal daily feeding routine for our Akbash Livestock Guardian Dog, Blue, goes something like this. And we do that twice a day. The benefit of feeding Blue like this is it gives me time with him each day. That gives me one-on-one -on -one time with Blue for bonding, but also for checking on him, making sure there's nothing wrong with him. It just gives me that really good close observation time with him. This coming season, however, we're going to be making some slight changes to our management practices with regards to how we're managing our livestock guardian dog in relation to the sheep paddock rotation system. I'll have more details in an upcoming video about those changes, but for now, one of the things we need to start working on is having a feeding system in place where Blue, our dog, can feed free choice. In order to do that, I'm going to be building a feeding station within this corral here behind me inside of this cattle panel pallet barn. But I can't just slap in a feeder back here and throw in the dog food and call it done because we have all these lambs running around here and Miss Clara the pig. They will definitely eat Blue's food, which is not a good situation. So I'm gonna have to build a system that is going to keep the lambs out and the pig out, but still allow Blue access to the feeder. I hope to achieve this by putting up some fencing panels in there to make basically a little pen area, and then cutting a hole in the panel to a certain shape and dimension known as a jump gate. I was trying to get this cattle panel secured to this back wall of our pallet barn here, but this back wall is not nearly as stable as the side walls because this right here is actually a door. So these don't connect, which gives this a little bit 
less stability overall. So I am just going to actually drive another T-post in right here into the ground and then secure the cattle panel to the T-post and that will give us a little bit more strength in the structure. With the basic fencing complete for the dog feeding station, I'm now going to add the jump gate. Again, the goal of the jump gate is to put a hole in this fencing that's going to keep the sheep out but still let the dog in. Design considerations, we want at least 14 inches off the ground. I'm gonna make it 20, which is gonna take us up to this rung here. For our width at the top, I'm going with 16 inches and then the sides of the hole are going to come down at a diagonal like so making an inverted triangle. And the length of the side is going to be about 20 inches. Alright so I'm going to just use a little marker and mark the places where I'm going to need to cut out the hole. So here is the jump gate. Yep, here's the jump gate. What do you think, little buddy? I think it's nice to have a wind room in jail. Oh, you think that's a jail? Yeah. The idea with this shape is that a dog is able to bring its shoulder in and get its paw through and then feed its body through this hole, whereas a sheep or a goat doesn't have the coordination or the physiological ability to bring their shoulder in and navigate through this opening through this shape. Though I followed the recommendations I saw online from people who have done this successfully as far as the size goes, I really think this is going to be too small. I think Blue might have a hard time fitting through that. What do you think, buddy? I... Can you I'm... squeeze through there? Put your arms through. Whoa. Can you get the rest of you through there? No. I think you could if you had to, right? About a dog, maybe. In order to train a dog to use this place as their feeding area, what I'm going to have to do is put the feeder in there, put the food in there, and then put Blue in here and close the gate, lock him in, and that way he'll be forced to come through the hole if he wants to get out. Blue doesn't deal well with any kind of changes to routine, so I know he's not going to like this right off the bat. He's probably not going to want to eat very much uh, going into the system this evening, but we'll put him in there and see how it works, and we'll see if he can get out. If he can't get out, I'm going to take him out to the gate, and we'll have to look at widening the hole. How did you get that trash? That's how far can go. It's unlikely that Blue's going to willingly come in here with me, so I have a little treat. I'm going to put it in his feeder, and then I'm going to put him on the leash and escort him in here.
man, major bummer. Blue did not fit through the hole. But the good news is he tried, which means he kind of gets the concept that he goes through that hole. So if I can just make it a little bit bigger, I think this is gonna work. We're out of time for today. The sun is going down, so we're gonna have to try another time. Whoa.